Hello guys, and welcome to episode 46 of my Total War Warhammer 2 playthrough, playing as Ark and the Black, leading the Tomb Kings to world domination. Previously we did some more damage to the Empire, cracked down on a couple of their armies, and now we are going to be taking Castle Tempelhof though, with King Lamazar. So let's go ahead and take that. Should be a relatively simple battle, we just charge the gates with the Yoshabti and then just run them down. Let's go. We'll have to play it out due to the balance of power, but that should be easy enough. I'll get my standard Ashapti as normal to take down the, the towers. And the Ashapti with Great Bow can target uh, better things. Probably hit the uh, cavalry. Maybe something on the walls. Depends on the angles we get, but don't think there's going to be many good options for angles in this. Those mortars might do a bit of damage. We have got to look out for. Yeah, we'll have these start on the right hand side here. Shabti can be ready to just run up. Probably going to have these guys go first though. These guys at the back because they always get smashed by towers. I might just put the, uh, the skeleton arches at the front honestly. Okay, so these plus Necrotex. Actually, let's take the Necrotect out of that. We'll put them in a group. Those in a group. Right, start deployment. Start the battle. Make sure we hit that tower. These... I think I might have shoot the handgunners. Let's try that. And then, since they're running forwards, we're going to start charging up with these guys. I don't really care too much if the archers take a lot of damage. It will be unfortunate, obviously, if they take a lot of damage, but yeah, it's okay at the end of the day. I can always just have them run off the field. They get a bit low. I'm going to have to heal up some of these of Shabti, that's for sure. Blimey. I took a lot of damage from the towers. I'm not sure that my tomb guard will last too long. Oh, I should be taking down that tower soon. You can target the one on the right. I might have these guys go and hit the angulars on the walls, honestly. All right, the gate's open, let's go. Should be able to absolutely murder him. Get all those Ashabti healed up a bit. I could get my Necrotect in here as well. I think the main thing though is just dump some magic on this. Put a Spirit Leech on the Empire Captain. We'll use the uh, Arcane Conduit. I can't believe the Kebra God still took that much damage. It's crazy. Alright, let's target that tower. I'm going to have those run off the map. Uh, let's bring these forwards if we can. I'm going to try and target in the center. Uh, the Carrion did, it, did well actually. I would like to go for the mortars, but that ain't going to happen. Right, let's just try and squeeze more of these in. As soon as I can, we'll do another upgrade. There, move these over a bit more. I guess actually if I make use of the Realm of Souls tier we'd be alright. I want to be using this of cooldown, the reanimate upgraded. I'm just going to hit the Spirit Leech there. We'll do a Fade of Buna onto the Empire Knights. Probably a better target to the spell. But let's have these come down. Actually I need to have some of them push up on the top. Get rid of all of these handgunners. 
fat unit did plenty of damage. That's good. Nice. The shab team just so nasty for them to deal with. 71 melee attack, 66 melee defense. Every time I look at it, I'm just like, this is just not fair. Let's crush the bright wizard. Although I do kind of need to just run past him at this point, honestly. Yeah, we should just run past him. Go for the great swords here. Put them out a bit. We can actually get the Necrotech to go in there and start smashing them about. Let's heal up that one. It's got a decent number of models left. Should get a decent amount of healing out of that. I'm going to have those leave. We're going to have these leave. And I'm going to just keep peppering these guys on the top. Probably get my Shabti to help out as well because I don't quite have the range. To shoot in the middle, that is. Okay, we're getting another heal going. Probably should have waited until these two Shabtis got in, but it's fine. Just try and push through these great swords. Get on to the mortars here. Stop them doing so much damage. Okay, my Necrotech's done okay, but he's kind of suffering a bit. I'm probably just going to fear being of these. I'll bring up another unit of Ash Ashabti over here. Although we should be done soon. Yep. Lovely. That'll do. Boom. Blend it there. But they did get in some kills in the end. The uh, Shabti, like the gods of the Chosen, or the Chosen of the Gods, or whatever they're called. Yeah. Probably on the handgunners at the end there. But otherwise they weren't too useful. I do kind of feel like I need just more of these Shabti with great bows in this army, rather than skeleton archers. Because it would allow me to take down turrets so much quicker when we do these battles. But we'll take that. Level 4. Don't mind if I do. Get some walls up in there. Get the burial chamber. Uh, I don't think we need the lumber camp. I keep the statue of Fakht and the uh, avenue of monuments. In that slot we'll build the public order building. Okay. The Necrotect can probably grab the uh, full plate armor now. I'm even stronger. Even Nagash trusted this one. Max out Demon Darkness. Might as well. Cool. Rakash is going to be ready to go next turn. Good. Alright, is that everybody moved? We've got Hutmas up here. Hutmas is going to take Kazadurkalaz. Easy done. Thank you very much. And that gives us a commandment here as well, which is good. Probably going to do the Worship of Ptra. And do I want to upgrade that? I'm not sure. Kazadurkalaz has the Funerary District. We'll keep that there. I don't know if I want the Regnant Catacombs here. Getting growth in my provinces isn't actually as much of a priority anymore as it used to be. Because we're kind of capped out on armies now. Uh, like, we're going to have armies every so often. 
uh, when we can afford this. But yeah, it's going to be a little while until that's the case. Mainly due to the Canopic Jars. I guess if I start saving Canopic Jars now, we can get another one sooner than later. Probably a good idea. Oh, where's Warcraft going? I guess Warcraft just got to zoom up here towards Fort Sol. I'm not going to march straight away, I don't think. Just to check. It'd be okay to do that. Nothing else going on down here. We are still at war with Tilia, of course. They're suffering from the plague at the moment. That's perfect. Perfect for Alcazar to go kill them. We'll take a bit of attrition heading over there, but it'll be alright. And Wakaf can come up here, take out this army of Lucas. I think Fort Sol should be able to hold, maybe? I'll probably start sieging that. If he goes in straight in for the attack, then that's fine as well. I would probably just focus on killing the Hellstone rocket batteries. Then we want to take Kadakaizor sooner than later, and then we're going to want to go through the Southern Grey Mountains. Just to make sure we finish off Karaz of Karak. Because otherwise their late game armies are just going to keep being a pain. We're pretty much done on technology now. We'll go ahead and pick this up. I said I was going to save Chronopic Jars, but we'll just get that out of the way so I don't keep getting prompted to do research. Let's focus on upgrades at the front. It's not too important. I just got to check these provinces that we recently captured. They would be the best ones. Just to make sure that I'm getting the Towers of Bones in there. The other thing we could start to do actually is build up these secondary buildings. I mean, I could actually probably get rid of the Skull Repository and the Royal Barracks here. And then put them in Mount Squighorn and Pillars of Grungni. Well, let's put a Charnel Plaza in there for now. I don't think what would be best to take Karakan. Because we do have, of course, Setup, Zonatap here. Cenotep's actually in range to attack. I didn't realize it was an ambush stance. Attend your king, slaves. I refuse. It could go and attack Siegfried. Is this got a walls? It has. The resurrection continues. Probably a bad idea. Never. We can finish off the Odoric. We'll do that. I'll take the campaign by movement range. And we'll just head over here again. Yeah, that should be fine. And they can reinforce each other if needs be. It means they don't get replenishment, but it's okay. Alright, we of course want to go for the Tomb Guard upgrade. So that is... The unfading memory. Extra missile resistance and armor. He's got a lot of these. Their melee defense is crazy high. Shame the melee attack's a bit trash. Beam strike there. Go ahead and get Cerisian's Incantation of Vengeance maxed out. And Hatmas also needs to level up because he took that Solomon. I, mean, I could go through Amber Success Chance to Renowned and Feared. Or we could go maybe to bonuses for Sepulchral Stalkers. Where do the Bone Giants get their bonuses? That's here, isn't it? Arrows of Asaf. A Shabti. I guess a Shabti would be something that I end up putting in here to replace the Skeleton Spearmen and the Hekara Warriors. 
Let's do the revered stone masonry. Fine. Trust it in life. In the winds of magic power reserve is always good. I'm gonna get upgraded purple sun though. My father demands it. It's Karas that's coming through here. That's all good. Go back to Solomon upgrades. <laughs> okay. Just a bunch of them. I'll upgrade those walls there. I'll certainly get a raw burial chamber. Kind of tempted to just get these, but. Having the ability to create more of the statues and stuff is always nice. It also do this building. We'll get the quicksand swamp in there. Uh, that one does have the public order building. Just wondering why the public order was so low. This one doesn't have a public order building, so we'll have to build that in Doc Karaz. Okay, that'll do. Let's end the turn. Move on to the next one. See what Reichland gets up to. Well, they're going in straight in for the attack. Ah, the garrison's not quite ready yet. Ah, that's annoying. I guess it slows down Lucas quite a lot. We might be able to attack him next turn if this is the case. I'm going to jump in, of course, and play it out. But we're probably going to lose. I don't really see a way that we could win. Especially against that many Hellstorm rocket batteries. If I hug the walls on the back side, we could probably do some damage, but... The gate's going to get destroyed at some point, and then we're in trouble. Right, these don't really do well against their horsemen, so that's going to suck. I could maybe use these to take shots. Uh, the Hellstorm rocket batteries are in the center. I have these behind the walls. The other thing we could do is maybe sit up on top. That well, could be a good plan just to like hold the hold this area for example. Might work. Just trying to think how I can get the best value here. The Hellstone rocket battery can fire a long way, can't it? It's only going to have to move forwards a bit in order to be in range of this engagement and then we're screwed. I think our best bet is just to line up behind the walls and then engage them when they climb up. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. The reason I'm ordering these in a specific way is because of the great swords and halberds. The tomb guards with halberds will fight against their halberds better than they'll fight against the great swords. So I'm going to have my normal tomb guard fight against the great swords instead. Okay. Might be worth keeping these on the ground actually. As for my archers, they're just going to be spread out at the start to make sure I can get the towers working. And the other two 
I don't know if I should just keep them in reserve. Like maybe I could have them run up after the start. Or maybe I can have them move over to the right and just engage in the center here. Maybe. We'll start it, see how we do. I want to just make sure I get these towers up and start firing at the uh, Hellstorm rocket batteries. That's the plan. It's actually done quite a lot of damage to the towers there. Nice. Let's target this uh, spin and shield unit as well, just to chunk them a bit. I didn't realize they'd do so much damage. Let's just make sure we hit the uh, the great swords then. I we'll hit the crossbowmen there as well. Oh, they really want to just go straight through that gate, huh? That shot didn't really do so well. Don't know if we can hit those. I mean, I guess we could just hit the death tracks there. That's fine. Targeting the outriders might be a good idea. I think I'm just going to kill off the Hellstorm rocket batteries if I can. They're going to start coming through the center now. I think I'm just going to have these ready to shoot the units in the center. Oh, well, <laughs> that guy went the wrong way. Yeah, these guys are getting in trouble. I need them to come in. Alright, let's go up on the walls here. Start engaging them. We get first round of souls too soon, that's good. Your Shabti will help out a lot. Maybe I can bring these back now they're not necessarily being targeted. I'm going to move these so they're holding the towers a bit better. We can get good shots onto these have we can get some really good damage in. So I'm hoping we can hold. We will start losing men very quickly. Uh, actually I could guess I could have these go and dive into these Hellstorm rocket batteries to go and kill them off. I think it's pretty obvious we're definitely not going to win at this point but I think there's kind of a chance that we can do a lot of damage and get like quite a lot of kills. I don't think I want to kill the leader. So as much as this app is nice, I'm probably going to start targeting the steam tank soon. I'm just getting low so that when we have another battle, uh, we don't have to do as much damage, so I'll do the same to the steam tank as well. I mean, if I could get third realm of souls here, that would be absolutely epic. We've actually managed to kill both of their hellstorm rocket batteries. Almost. I'm just going to make sure I run them down. Both towers firing at that one in the center there. These third realm of souls tier. These. And these can both turn around. Let's 
so close to third round of souls there. Ah, uh, get the Ashabti up quickly. Oh no! Oh, <laughs> the only reason we got the third round of souls to there is because we started crumbling. <laughs> That's savage. I don't think those Hell Storm rocket batteries died either. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Unfortunate. Yeah, they're both alive. Well, at least they're really damaged. And they didn't actually take it. They sacked it. Wow. Okay. And they bypassed that to then do that. Interesting. For the right, we do have March Dance, which kind of sucks. But I think we'll be okay. The reinforcements, I think, come in right behind us. Maybe. We'll see where they are. If the reinforcements come in behind me, I'm probably just going to focus on them. Then we can overwhelm the original army. Because the second army that's coming in is really damaged, obviously, from where we just had that battle. Yeah, they're right here. This is actually a good thing. I mean, obviously we're damaged as well, which isn't great, but... Oh well, maybe we'll smash him. My Team King's good to go, my architect's good to go. I just have all my units run over to me, and then that's it. We're going to want to make sure we focus down our range forces with my range forces. I'm going to want to make sure that I've got my cap, my dude engaging. These guys are going to get over here. I'm going to put this down maybe. Uh, yeah, let's do it. And any units that are getting too low, we can try other things. Let's uh, go ahead and smash those Hellstorm rocket batteries. I'll get my Necrotech to go chase down these guys. We'll get the Ashabti to run in, because we didn't do that already. I'm going to have to get on top of those uh, grenade launchers. Oh dear, that hurts. I'm also going to have to hit the Demogriff Knights there. These two can help with the Demogriff Knights. Oh, this is going to be a costly battle, guys. It really is. Time to focus. Okay, these two can come in onto the Demograph Knights. I've got all the Spultral Stalkers ready to go. All the Spultral Stalkers will decimate a lot of this stuff, so that's good. Gotta get something on top of these guys. Let's uh, make sure he's chasing. Right, so those three can attack that. Those three can attack that. My Nehekar horseman. I need to get a move on. Right, 
Right, those ones will need to kill that. Right, we're chasing off the grenade launchers. That's good. Uh, let's have these engage the Demograph Knights. I'm also going to have the Ashab T spawn and attack those Demograph Knights. Oh, those Fortral Stalkers can pull back. We're nearly done on this front, which is good. I'm going to get these forwards. Banning them at the front's never a good idea. I think I did lose an Aerotitan. Oh, not an Aerotitan, a Necrosphinx. Let's not let them get surrounded. On my I can actually move him down and probably use this on these guys. Oh no, we still have both the Necro Sphinxes. Just they're not lined up on my bar at the bottom. We're doing okay. Do need to engage those Demograph Knights. This guy can drop a Fate of Buna on some of these great swords. We're gonna spirit leech the Luminarch. Okay, all of these need to start coming over. My Bone Giants, I think, ran out of ammo, so they need to get into the fight. Still chasing around the Outriders there. I suppose we're stalkers again, really good damage in. Real shame I didn't actually get more damage onto the Alstom rocket batteries earlier. Because that would have saved me a lot of a lot of pain. I'm just gonna move this over, because I should be should have been using that already, but I'll go ahead and drop that in here just to give some more health back. Bone Giant's in trouble. Gonna have him just move to the edge of the map. He doesn't die. The rocket batteries are dead, that's good. This is ridiculous though. So be it. Somehow, I managed to 
get in combat with the Outriders of Grenade Launchers. That's fine. Uh, these guys shouldn't be engaging. Just such a hectic battle. It really is. Eternally loyal. The fact that Hellstorm rocket battery got to use almost all of its ammunition is so bad. Alright, let's make sure we smash those great swords. We gotta keep firing at that leader. Get rid of Siegfried. I am but I'm gonna go just <laughs> hit that house on rocket battery before it kills off that unit. That's my Necrotect. Okay, looks like we've got it. We won. Oh, blimey. That got me hot and bothered. Damn, what a battle. That has absolutely decimated my forces. Worships me. I'll have to re-recruit both of these armies. We will have destroyed another two Empire armies almost entirely, so there's that. But losing so many forces is pretty rough. Especially the support stalkers from that army in particular. By me. Right, I can probably just run these down. Destroy. Cross them. Death awaits. As one. Gotta keep on them, brush them to dust, just like we do, or they do to us. <laughs> Some grouping probably would have helped. I'd sorted out the groups earlier on. It just got really, really hectic because of the amount of cavalry that they had from the second army that came over and attacked me while I was still dealing with the first army. If I'd cracked down on the first army sooner and managed to like destroy that quicker, then I probably would have done a lot better. But yeah, there's a lot of butts in that battle and just too much going on. Really manage it properly. I think Sunny Tep was uh, due for an upgrade on his forces. I'll still have to use his Tomb King bonus, but I'll probably replace his archers with uh, a Shabti with Great Bow. Both the giants survived, and a lot of the big stuff actually survived, so that's good. It looks like I lost the priest there. We did lose our Screaming Skull Catapult, but that's okay. Not a big fan of the Screaming Skull Catapult, so we'll replace that with something else. I mean, taking the replenishment is probably a good idea right now. That's barely damaged their strength rank. Oh, we're getting double teamed here as well. Hmm. Arise, my this is going to be an Arise. interesting battle. I mean, it's not so bad because of our army composition being mostly Necropolis Knights. So I can run rings around their ranged forces quite a bit. I just can't get bogged down, otherwise I lose. For the creator God. Don't have much to make use of our passive ability. With any luck, I mean actually, well the reinforcements are probably going to come in behind them aren't they? It's unfortunate. 
If I could have done what I did in the last battle, like just hammered their secondary force, that might have worked a bit better. I spread these out. I'm definitely going to make sure we're in range of their their house on rocket battery. Although, do I want to attack something else initially? We could get we could hit those great swords actually with a volley. I could have. The Bone Giant focused the Hellstorm rocket banner, it's probably best. I could put some shots into the uh, Empire Knights or the Borderman there. Hmm. Okay, let's group these. Uh, these can just be like rando group. Uh, these can fire at those, and those, and I guess these can charge forwards initially, but we're just going to want to break off around them, get in their back line, have these move forwards, get my leader up there. want to get into their ranged forces. We're kind of doing it. That's good. Oh, this guy is in trouble already. That's not good. Really not good. Stay alive, my dude. Oops. Get these into melee. Nice, we managed to deal with those. Uh, I'm not really on top of that unit like I'd like to be, so... Let's have these target... Maybe the general... Or those crossbowmen actually, I'm not going to be able to get to those easily. kind of wish I had a heal. Do I have a heal? No, I don't. Alright, we more or less routed the house on rocket battery, so let's get away from that engagement. We'll come in onto these again. Doing okay. We're doing okay. Uh, this guy is caught again. Lost my magic. That's not okay. <laughs> That's really bad. I'm just going to have my Ashabti charge in there. Give him what for. We are getting friendly fire here, but it's not too bad. Like, it's making them route, so we're all good. Let's focus on the reinforcements now. Some decent damage in there. My initial forces here are just routing. Oh, 
Can I get my leader out of there? These need to run as well. Let's get those Necropolis Knights out of there. We're gonna have to split up a bit again with the Necropolis Knights. It's gonna be hard. But I think we can do it. I mean, that unit just took a full hit, so that's good. I can still get a lot of work done. Right, let's make sure we gang on that leader there. And we need to make sure we finish off these uh, great swords because they're really doing a lot of damage. I want to kind of try and keep my Shabtu a great bow alive if I can. That was a good hit from the casket. Other generals there, that's annoying. Not good. trouble a little bit there. Have the giant go forwards and sponge some damage for us. Need to start and dodge some of this. Too bad. If I just end up with them only having ranged units, um, we're actually in a pretty good spot. One issue I am seeing, however, is that my Necropolis Knights aren't going to last too much longer. But we are getting quite a lot of damage in, which is good. Casket has really done a good job for me. Starting to get into a position where this is routing units now, so that's good. And we're making them weak enough actually that my reinforcements from the settlement can become relevant. Shabti died there, unfortunately.
Making sure I do as much damage as possible. How are these doing? Not too great. We can't retreat. Unfortunately. Alright, we made them run away. Go ahead and finish off these crossbowmen. And then we can go from there. Oh, lovely chunk of damage. Well, they came back. Let's make sure we get rid of those. Okay. Keep chasing them. Keep chasing them off the field. Every unit counts. And the charge in there, please. Come back here and just dump on these great swords. They're gonna have the swamp modifier as well, which is great. That's it. That's victory. I managed to keep all of the Necropolis Knights alive. Crikey. It's a shame we lost the Ashab to Great Bow, but give battle otherwise. This has been a real tough episode, hasn't it? We've had some crazy, crazy battles in this one. Uh, losing my Lich Priest there kind of sucks, but we'll get him back soon. I think all of my priests are immortal now. It just kind of sucks because. They have to catch up with the army after they die. Losing my priest early on was probably the biggest mistake there. Would have been a lot easier if I had uh, Spirit Leech and so on. Maybe the Fate of Buna and one of the Great Swords. We're just going to take the replenishment there again. And hopefully we can continue with that army. Damn. Another army in our way, though. And you got the bloody trait, which is actually quite nice because it gives you extra hit points. Settlement sacked. Lich Priest is wounded. We have another Lich Priest. That one was killed in battle. Okay, that's actually not so bad because I should be able to recruit another Lich Priest here to just immediately get back in there. This guy's non-legible, so it seems important to grab him. Ooh, death or light. Is it light? Oh, never mind, it's just... Just death. Alright, we'll get up, grab this guy. There we go. And he can jump on in there. Alright, Rakash obviously completed his recruitment, so that's great. We can go ahead and hit this army. I don't know about the one in Waldenhof though, that's Not possible. so many outriders, archers, spearmen, just looks like a bit of a trash army. Right, Setup's army's in disarray, that's <laughs> rather worrying. Tunitep's as well. Tomb King of 
I felt like if we go for this battle, I'm gonna lose something. But we're gonna do it anyway. Let's play this out. The bone giant is gonna have to sit well out of the way. I can actually heal the bone giant right at the start with the necrotech, actually, and that's probably a good idea. We'll just shoot the uh, Luminarch like immediately and should kill it. The Luminarch will target my dudes though. But I think we have better range. That's something. I'll have these spread out and just start marching forwards. Alright, start the deployment, start the battle. Those can hit the Luminarch. These can start marching. And this guy needs to heal this one. These can all start moving down. Keep this guy hidden. Have more direct hits, that'll be dead. And we can take out the Hellstorm rocket battery. I mean, a lot of this stuff actually should be able to be taken out by the Bone Giants. I just keep these spread out, soaking damage for us. Missed that again. It's not that hard to hit it, come on. There we go. I will hit the Demogriff Knights with a shot. I killed a couple of those. Uh, this one can stay out of combat. But we can certainly use this leader. We can use this leader as well. Use the uh, Shem's burning gaze there. I might hit my uh, Necrosphinx. Ooh, just missed. <laughs> when they try and run away, they just get absolutely demolished. How oh, would you look at that? Game over. Their march dance, we don't have to chase them down. Just finish it off. End the battle there. Cool. Jobs a good one. Bone Giant range helps us out so much against that. If the Illuminati could have targeted us at the start, I would have probably KO'd my Giant with the amount they were missing. I'll take that Harvest Organs, please. And we're going to have to go and set up for some global recruitment. But unfortunately, guys, it has been my time. So I'm going to leave it here. In the next episode, uh, we'll have to fix up these armies. I'm going to have to... Probably build some more stuff into Rakash's army at some point as well. But he pretty much fully replenished all of the Necropolis Knights, which is nice. Uh, we do, of course, have this army as well. We could have Lamazash just take out all half, and then we have Rakash take out Essen. Could do that. Might be better. Because then I can just delete this army. I also kind of want to go back here and make sure we're wiping out these armies, because then building them behind us is a bit of a pain.
Yeah, I might move Harkaros back this way. If I can march and get across here, that would be great. I can't. It's unfortunate. Alright. Well, that's that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.